In this section, we'll draw from the last five tutorials and finally get our mix ready with proper levels. Automation will be added and then we'll export the audio. The first thing we want to do is set the levels for our project. This helps us get a preliminary balance of the mix so we can add EQ and effects later. Select the mixer from the devices menu. The key command for this is F3. Turn off the input channels since we won't be using them anymore. Do this by clicking the Hide Input Channels button on the left-hand side of the mixer. Press Start on the transport panel and listen to your mix. Move the faders for each track so you can hear all of the mix the way you like it. If for any reason you need to get the fader back to 0 dB, the default, you can Alt and click for the PC or Option and click for the Mac directly in the fader area. You can also change the fader by double clicking in the channel level area and setting the level manually. Be careful when it comes to how loud you raise the faders. Make sure you keep levels at a good volume so that they are as loud as possible without clipping. You will always know when you are clipping when the clip indicator lights up on the output channel. If it does, lower your levels and click on the clip. This will reset the warning light. That's it for setting the levels. Let's look at pan next. Setting the pan for each track moves its position in the stereo mix. It will either keep the signal balanced in the middle of the left and right speaker, lean to the left or lean to the right, or be completely in the left or right speaker. Right clicking in the panner on certain tracks presents you with three different types of pan options. Read up on the mixer in the operation manual for more information concerning different pan options. If you need to get the panner back to the middle, you can Alt and click on the PC or Option and click on the Mac anywhere in the panner area. Let's pan our two guitars slightly left and slightly right. This will spread them out a bit. Keep the drums track in the middle but let's move loop one a bit to the left and loop two a bit to the right. This will give our rhythm section a larger, more spacious sound. That's it for pan. Let's move on to mute and solo. For each track, there is an M for mute and an S for the solo button. Mute will prevent you from hearing the track, and Solo will only pay the track or tracks that have S highlighted. You can have many tracks muted or soloed at a time. When you solo a track, the other tracks become muted. If you want to clear or deactivate all the mutes or solos, you can click on the Deactivate All Mute or Deactivate All Solo buttons on the left-hand side of the mixer. There may be times when you want certain tracks to always play even if another track has solo active. If you Alt and click for the PC, or Option and click for the Mac on the S button, this will place the track in solo defeat mode. This allows the track to always play, even if you solo another track. To take a track out of solo defeat mode, simply Alt and click it again on the PC or Option and click on the Mac. That's it for Mute and Solo. Let's move on to adding EQ. EQ, or equalization, add or subtracts frequencies so that we can place each instrument correctly in the mix. EQ is subjective 
and can be influenced greatly by the style of music that you are mixing. We're going to run through the EQ features that Cubase has to offer, but feel free to experiment and try the different presets on your mix. Solo the drums track and click the Edit Instrument Channel Settings button. This will call up our EQ. Make sure you have a section of music looping so that you can hear the EQ changes you are making. There are four bands of EQ on each track. Click on the EQ Band Active button for each of the EQs to turn them on. You can also click in the EQ Curve area to turn on an EQ. Click and move the EQ point up, down, right or left. Moving the EQ point up or down raises or lowers the gain of the EQ. The gain makes that particular EQ louder or softer. The EQ band gain at the bottom of the EQ window gives you the value of the gain. If you hold down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, you can restrict the movement of the EQ to just up or down. Moving the EQ point left or right changes the frequency of the EQ. The EQ band frequency at the bottom of the EQ window gives you the value of this frequency. If you hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, you can restrict the movement of the EQ to just left or right. Holding down Shift while moving the EQ point up or down changes the quality of the EQ. Many people refer to this as the width of the EQ. The EQ band Q at the bottom of the EQ window gives you the value of the quality. The Preset Management button allows you to recall and store presets. Choose from the list to get a sound that's close to what you want, and then adjust it slightly. You can then store it as a new preset. You can bypass the EQs by clicking on the Bypass Equalizers button. A good tip when using EQ is that it's usually better to take away EQ or lower the gain than to add it. Now let's move on to effects. We can add effects by inserting the effect directly on a track, or we can create an FX channel and use the auxiliary sends of a track to send to that FX channel. Let's add compression to the bass track to smooth it out. Click on the Select and 